Hello everybody and welcome to Little Kitty Big City. Saw this game on Game Pass. Looked incredibly cute. Let's just hop into this. I know absolutely nothing about this. Let's just go ahead and hop into this. All right. Sounds like I'm getting double audio. I'm gonna have to figure that out because that's not gonna do. Give me a second and we'll figure that out after this cutscene. Hopefully it's something I can take care of in editing. That is unbelievably cute. No, no! No! It's stray all over again. The crow saved the cat. What the... Dude. Oh my goodness. All right, now we are a cat. Where do we, how do we get back home? Is there a map or I'm gonna figure out all the controls? It recommended that we use a controller. Okay, there's, oh God, we don't want to go that way. Cats sure don't like water. Okay. Is there a sprint button? What's the buttons? All right, now that the worst YouTuber on the platform has figured out his problems, let's go ahead and figure out how to get the hell home. Is there a run button? No. Okay, so we're just gonna stroll as a cat then. That's fine. A jump button. Oh, I see. I see. Okay. Um. Woo. Okay. It's not going to work. Hmm. Oh. Oh, look at this. A little opening here. Ah. Open door. You pick it up. Oh, my God. That's adorable. Oh, it's, it's definitely reminiscent of Stray. Which is awesome. I never actually played Stray fully through, so if you guys want to see that on the channel, please don't hesitate to let me know. Now what? Hold A for precision jump. Oh, I see. Ah. Oh, okay. So we could probably run and jump. Can we? All right. So this isn't just, let's go back in the house. Let's run this again up here so we can jump across other side over here yes this is exactly what they wanted us to do yep okay figured it out i'm gonna go ahead and uh well 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 if it isn't the flying kitty are you talking to me well i don't see any other small cats casually whacking innocent crows in midair that was you i'm so sorry it was an accident you see an accident eh? Sounds like you need more flying practice, but I can't actually fly. And you never will with that attitude. Come on, just flap your wings and follow me. Does this crow not know that cats don't fly? And fuck your planter, sir. Fuck your planter. Oh, I can pick it up, can't I? Hmm. Oh, I'll just walk. Yeah, there we go. Hmm. Check that out. Oh, yeah. I am an artist. This is an artist in the making here. I am the art cat. Mm. Ah, ah, ah. Mm. Woo! First commission ah. complete. We can jump up on the plant on the bird, be bird bath. There's a ball in here. I pick up the ball. Hey, be a cat. Be a cat. Yeah. Twenty minutes later. Ah. Look at that. Look at me figuring things out. We just gotta avoid all the water. Hey, you know what? I don't care about your planters. That's a conundrum and a half. So maybe we should, oh, well, we fell off. Great. Fantastic. Hmm. Oh, over here. There's a duck. I have a duck. I have a duck. I'm gonna keep the duck. We've made it. We've made it through the first part of this. What the fuck? <gasps> it's a dog. Oh, there's a crow. Honestly, those dogs think they own the street. So there you are. What took you so long? Did you forget to flap your wings? I don't have wings. I'm a cat. Huh? Then how are you flying? I wasn't. I was falling. I fell off. I it. I fell off my window spot, and now I'm all the way down here. If you can't fly, how are you planning to get back up there? Well, I'm gonna climb it. Uh oh. 
Hmm, you're in quite the pickle, aren't you? Let me have a think. I've got it. How about that inferior flying that you Lumos creatures do with the huffing and the puffing and the claws? You mean climbing? That's what I said. I'm not sure you had the energy for climbing. I was already getting hungry when I fell. So if your friendly neighborhood crow happened to have a lovely juicy fish? Really? And this brings us to familiar crow territory. Supply and demand! I can supply one yummy full of shit. <laughs> I can't read. Or speak. I can't supply one yummy fish full of energy and I will demand 25 shinies. What is a shiny? I'm talking about Pokemon? The gleaming doodads you find hidden everywhere. In bushes, on ledges, sometimes under traffic cones. And they're valuable? Valuable? They're priceless! Hmm. Shouldn't I hang on to them? Did I say priceless? I meant worthless. Dangerous, even, to everyone except crows. In fact, they shouldn't be lying around the city like this. They could hurt somebody. So if you collect 25 shinies, I'll be able to dispose of them very responsibly. We will be heroes. And then I get a fish? Sure. I'm on it. That seems like something that we probably shouldn't do, but... I got a shiny. Get out of here, cat. Get out of here, dog. Don't be a wuss. Run past me. You won't let me pass. Okay, cool. Where, where is this based in? This looks like... Is it Japan? It is. Awesome. Okay, so this is like a based in Japan. All right. Here's another little kitty. Excuse me. Well. Hi, I was wondering if you could help me. I'm the mayor. If the mayor can't help you, no one can. Thank goodness I found you. You see, your worship. I need to get home and I need shinies. And there are all these trash cans and... One thing at a time, my friend. This all sounds like work. Cats are not built for work. Cats are built for mischief and snoring. We are soft, sleepy, sometimes there is whimsy. Sometimes there is pushing things onto the floor. Yes, but... Your enthusiasm is tiring. The mayor cannot help anyone when sleepy. I didn't... So you must help the mayor achieve nap time. It is only right and proper. I... Your first responsibility as deputy mayor will be the hated jars of jam. Remove these eyesores from the mayor's vision. But it's just jam. It is a symbol. A symbol that a human can no longer fears a cat. They leave their glass jars on the shelves and expect them to not stay there. And expect them to stay there. It cannot continue. I guess that makes sense. But when you say you remove them, swipe, push, crash, the breaking of the jars will be a lullaby for your poor mayor. Then you'll help me? The mayor cannot hear you over the noise of symbolic jam. There's this moron cat talking up. Is this 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 up here? Hold on a minute. Oh! Wait a gosh, a gosh dang minute. This is freaking adorable. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, over the cat and then kicked me, asshole. There we go. All right, let's continue. Let's see what else we can do. I've been recording for a bit now. I don't like to have these videos be too awfully long. Well, let's pull these cones out and see if we can keep finding these shinies. There we go. There's one. Heck yeah. Another one. There's three. Oh, look. Another one. Hi, bird. <laughs> bird flew up there, asshole. Some more shinies we can find. The quicker we can try and get ourselves back home. Can we go through this way? We sure can. Actually, we can't. Can we? Oh, it's blocked. Let's try this one. Roll on through. Bang, bang. Choo choo train. We made it. What is this? It's a nap spot. That's cute as shit. This game is unbelievably cute. Like, I'm not much of a cat person. You know, they're, they're actually a lot of fun. Damn, there's really no way to get through there. Oh, we can jump up here. Ah, look at this. There we go. We're making. Oh, Jesus. It's a lizard. Oh, we got an achievement. Hi. Hello? Are you talking to me? Of course. You can see me? Yeah. Astonishing. I've never met anyone who could see through my superior camouflage. Does this mean my power is fading? Power? Are you a magician? Indeed. 
In fact, if you could see me, you may be able to see the magician's hats I wear. It's other magicians that are patrolling the area. So they can see you too? <laughs> I'm laughing at my stupid accent. Absolutely not. I am invisible to all. That's why I'm rather surprised. Sur I lost it. For example, I'm good at disguising myself. That way I can even make my words disappear. Watch this. Dog, you're just not saying anything. See that? No, you didn't because my words are totally camouflaged. Huh? That's pretty cool. Thank you. It took years to perfect. But if you're a master of camouflage, how come I can see you? Uh, quite. Perhaps it's to do with your eyes being so weird. Eyes are weird. Have you seen them? I don't think I can. You just have to tell me. Well, for a start, they're on the front of your face. That's weird. It is? And they don't seem to stick out at all. They're right inside your head, taking a valuable brain room. Maybe I use my eyes for thinking. Can you at least move them in different directions at the same time? I don't think so. Can I be worried, you think? I couldn't say. I'm a magician, not a vet. However, if you're weird, if your eyes are truly immune to my vanishing act, then I have finally met a worthy opponent. Wait, what? I must learn to outsmart your weird eyes. I will don new disguises, practice new tricks, engage in the noble art of self-improvement. I don't know. I don't want you to change on my account. Ah, sweet kitty, so weird, so small, so wrong. No, to restore my reputation as the world's most concealed creature, I must change. It is the only way to defeat your weird eyes. Oh. When you say you want to defeat my eyes, I challenge you to find me again, cat. Here? No, I shall leave this place while I adjust my technique. Then I shall reappear somewhere else. Obviously, I'll be almost impossible to detect. So I'll leave you with a clue to my general location. Ahem. There is a place where a hard hat shined, a concrete pours and diggers wine. I'll be camouflaged nearby, invisible to your eye, to your weird eye. Do you mean eyes? Have you ever heard of a poetic license? Yes? Well, I have one. I'm not afraid to use it. Anyway, good luck finding me. Find the chameleon. That was the first time I've ever improvised an accent like that. I think it went pretty well. I think that was pretty, uh, pretty fun. Now, where to, now that I'm almost 30 minutes into this record, we have made zero progress. Meow. Am I back to where I was? I will shit bricks. Oh. <laughs> made my throat hurt a little bit. Okay, fucking idiot cat. I spent too long doing a stupid accent up there. Let's jump back up here. Come on, cat. What is the cat's name? Does he have a name? I will call him Reginald. Reginald L. Cat. Oh, look, another shiny. All right, we're making some sort of little, little tiny progress. No, we made none. I'm gonna find the chameleon again. Okay, he was over by the construction site, apparently. Oh, I didn't go this way. Stop. There's... Uh, there's more water over here. Okay. No, we can't go this way either. Hmm. What in the hell? Maybe I, oh, I can go through here. Yeah, okay. Okay. What do we have here? Hello? Huh? Nearly got it. Just a little... More. Ha! Yes! Oh, get out of here. Everything okay in there? Until a moment ago, yes. It was easy to get in, and I assumed it would be exactly as easy to get out. Would you like some help? Let me try one more thing. What even is this creature? Oh no. I'm ready to be helped now, please. If I push him in here, can you pull me? Rescue the blank from a pipe? Not the scissors. Let me see if I can pull this creature out. What is it? You're welcome. What were you doing in there? I was looking for feathers for my new invention, and I saw something glinting in the pipe. I assume it must be the famous... Oh, Invermid Collector's Edition Geku. Commemorative medallion, and well, I went in. A what what? The famous Inverted Collector's Edition Geku commemorative medallion. Why did you want the imported collecting medallion? Collected 
Tiktu thingy. Well, those medallions are the ones that weird. The fifth, fifth, fifth. Those medallions are the ones the weird error. It's the weird error that makes Geku look like a weird sea monster exposed to nuclear radiation instead of a big Geku exposed to nuclear radiation. They're worth a fortune, but it turned out to be a normal shiny, and then I got stuck. You want it? I'll take it. Woo! Thank you. Did you say you were an inventor? I did. I love to solve problems, and animals even say, make new problems just so I can solve them. How rude. Rude, no, it's a compliment. Like when they say, oh dear, this thing, what the thing? Oh dear, this will take some time getting used to, or Tanuki, you really shouldn't have, or I didn't know a raccoon could disrupt the so much space time. English is hard. Actually, that last one was pretty rude, and I, I'm very clearly a Tanuki and not a raccoon. It's a raccoon. It's like a little bear fox with a long striped tail. Apparently some people think they look like Tanuki, but I can't see it myself. What are you working on now? Ah, it's all very exciting, in fact. That's why I need to- Wait! Do you smell feathers? You may be having a migraine. You have some feathers somewhere about your person, I know it. Although goodness knows where you're keeping them. No. I could have sworn I smelled them. Ah, well, if you come across any feathers, please bring them to me. I need three for a cool project I'm working on that distorts space-time. Are you Dialga? We have we have a lot <laughs> we have a lot of things to do here um, but i think that's where i'm going to go ahead and end this video off my friends uh this was the cutest game that i've played in quite a while if you guys want to see more little kitty big city go ahead and leave a comment let me know what you think of this game uh, if you want to play it it's free on game pass on pc and xbox so just go ahead and check it out see you all next time bye